Hi, what's going on everybody? My name is Nicholas. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is day day 11, day 10, day 11 of being quarantined at home. Um, hope you guys are doing well, you know, staying healthy. You know, being at home is the only way that we can fight this off. So uh, hope you guys are doing that as well. Okay, so for some content today, since I have a little bit of time, um, it's like a mini break from university right now because I have internships and stuff, so that's why not a lot of content is being pushed out at the moment. But thank you all for you know every support uh, that I have received so far. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so, um, well, today's video is more about, because recently I've sold off the Microsoft Surface Laptop 2, that was the last laptop review that I've made. Uh, that laptop served me pretty well, but since the warranty and everything ran out, I thought that, hey, you know, maybe it's time for an upgrade. So this video today is more about the pros and cons of owning a Surface laptop. And maybe if you plan to own, you know, a Surface laptop in the future, these are some of the things that you should know about it before, you know, making that purchase. So I have a list of stuff over here to talk about. Maybe let's go through the things that I didn't like so much of the Surface. So maybe you can get a get an impression of it over here. So first off, um, I have to admit the, the Alcantara keyboard is very, very nice. And I always get compliments. So people would come up to me and they'd be like, Hey, is this sticked on or like, you know, does it come like this? And yeah, it, it does come like this. So most of the time, they're very surprised that how, how do you find Alcantara materials on, you know, laptops? That's, that's pretty crazy. But the thing about it is maintenance and it's very, very difficult. For me, I take care of my gadgets quite well, I would say, because I really have a thing for this kind of stuff. So they are like my top priority. But even with that said, um, about six months down the road, I started seeing like stains at uh, the place where you rest your palms when you type. So that uh, stains started showing up at uh, that area. So, and mine was a silver color model. So it's even more obvious to the eye. And that wasn't very pleasant and also, um, in university, a lot of times there's a lot of uh, writing with um, pen and everything. So if you get ink on your palm at this area, and as soon as you start typing, you just, you know, you get too busy, too caught up. So if there's ink over here and as you start typing, holy crap, that's the end of it. So the ink from your palm can transfer over to the keyboard itself. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's Alcantara is cool and everything, but you have to be very, very careful uh, in terms of, you know, actually maintaining the material in the long run. Okay, so down to my next point would be the trackpad. And uh, maybe I'm just whining over here, but like uh, definitely I would, would have preferred the trackpad to be a little larger, just like how, the, how it is on the MacBooks, they, they are very nice. But the thing on Windows Surface is that you cannot really, you know how we when we usually want to click on stuff, you just double tap lightly, right? It doesn't work on the Surface, so you actually have to physically tap on the trackpad in order to select certain items to open the file. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a bummer. The only thing that I really cannot stand is that the clicking noise is is not very nice. You know, it's it's very noisy and I think people who are in my surroundings whenever I do work using the trackpad, it's quite annoying at times. It's, it makes a lot of noise compared to, you know, some touch uh, trackpad, which is much quieter. And um, last but not least, okay, so these are two different components, but I think we can put them together and that would be the price and warranty. Reason why I want to put them together is because um, throughout my time of using the Surface Laptop 2, I had to send the laptop 
to the service twice and yeah so what's happened is that once the warranty runs out you're pretty much on your own and the thing i didn't like so much about the surface is that it is not accessible so everything is soldered on and there are no screws whatsoever so if something goes wrong with the laptop no matter what you need to send it back to microsoft they are the only ones that can actually uh they, they don't even repair the laptop itself they just send you a replacement so that's the thing about it you know if something goes wrong with the laptop it cannot really be diagnosed because there are no screws so nothing can really be taken out of the laptop the only thing that they can do is to replace you with a new replacement unit so for mine what happened was using it a couple of months and then suddenly the hard disk started to fail and every time let's say about an hour of doing work the laptop would just goes into a blue screen and just telling me that uh, it shows that the hard disk icon it is failing and stuff so that that was pretty annoying i had to send them in and it took almost a week for them to send back a newly replaced unit because they have to like, make sure that you know that actually the laptop something is wrong with it before they send me a new unit so that was very very uh, you know back and forth a lot of uh, emails this and that and it wasn't very pleasant i think for the new series of the laptop 3 i think it's much better um the aluminium build uh, that one is very nice and also i think the ssd is swappable on that unit but unfortunately for laptop 2 and the ones above nothing can really be taken out of the laptop itself so you got to be really careful when it comes to those kind of things um yes so about the price um okay so not to complain too much about it as well but because microsoft surface is like the macbook of windows it's considered a premium laptop brand so um, in terms of updates and everything you get firsthand because you know it's a windows baby so definitely you get everything firsthand um, but the thing about the price is that for the price that I got for my model, which was i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and only 128 gigs of SSD storage, that is clearly not enough. But with that kind of price that they have on retail, in here in Malaysia, it's about 4,800. Yeah, that expensive. You can actually, with that kind of money, you can get, um, you know, an Asus laptop with 8 gigabytes of RAM with. 512 gigabytes of ssd the zenbook lineup yeah you can actually get that kind of spec with that kind of money but depending on what's more important to you if you have an ex if you have extra cash to spend on then definitely go for the surface but 128 gigabytes in this kind of era it's definitely not enough so you gotta think for think further into the future so on to the things that I enjoy about their Surface. And so the first one we have actually talked about is software updates. So because Surface is directly under Windows, so definitely in terms of updates, you'll get it first. So that is very nice. And another thing I would like to point out is the speakers. And if you take a look around the laptop of the Surface, you won't be able to find any speaker ports because the speakers are firing directly under the keyboard and it's facing you so right now as you can see in all the laptops uh, i mean phones they have speakers front facing speakers right so that's pretty cool so for that laptop i really enjoy that because it, it's actually coming out of the keyboard and firing directly at you so everything is very clear very crisp hands down one of the best speakers in windows laptop yeah but like then again macbooks are like a different range they they have a subwoofer of their own world. Other than that, the build compared to other Windows laptops out there is very, very solid. So it gives you the premium kind of feel. I mean, yeah, you, you get what's uh, what your money's worth, you know? Overall, I really enjoyed the laptop. Is um, the three by two ratio, you know, more productivity can be done compared to the standard 16 by nine, uh, which is more preferred for, you know, watching videos and stuff. But uh, depending on what kind of work you do, if you're getting a Surface laptop, I'm guessing you're more of a productivity guy, you know, uh, working on 
Microsoft Word and those kind of things. Because watching video on that is not so great. There are two black bars really, really huge. So uh, yeah, that's something you got to watch out for if you're getting a 3 by 2 ratio. But in terms of documents, you know, everything, very uh, web browsing, you know, that's that's really good for it. And also, not to mention that it is touchscreen. Yeah. And last thing I just want to put on the list, and that would be Windows Hello. So as soon as you open the lid, it unlocks immediately once it scans your face, uh, you know, and I can I really miss that feature ever since moving over to the MacBook. And I think it's one of the greatest feature on the surface, Windows Hello. You gotta really try it yourself. So after setting up, and every time, as soon as you uh, open the lid of your laptop and phew, you'll be locked in straight away. So um, in terms of security, eh, it's not that great because my brother, we're not twins, we're four years apart. He is able to log into my laptop. I guess we really, do look that um, similar, you know, in that case. But mm, in terms of security, huh, more improvements could be made. So that is it for now. Um, so this is my take on the Surface Laptop 2 and I guess in general the Surface line because they share a lot of similarities, a lot of things are in common. So if you have any other video ideas or you know any perspective that you want me to look at, you can always drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what kind of videos that you want me to, to make. So thank you for watching today's video. My name is Nicholas and I'll see you guys in the next one.